Yo, today on the show, I'm showing you how you can create the Travis Scott delays that you hear a lot on Astro World and a lot in his music. They kind of seem to just go on forever. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in FL Studio today. You do not need Mike Dean beside you creating this sound. It's very easy for you to do. I'm gonna show you everything you need. We're gonna use all stock plugins today. We're gonna show you how to set it up in FL Studio. I'm also gonna give you the template below in the description so you can just take it. If you're a hands-on person, you can kind of kind of test it out yourself. I'm gonna be breaking down everything. Um, I'm not gonna to pretend to be Travis Scott, so I'm gonna use some vocal shots that I grabbed off of Splice, but I'm gonna go from point A all the way to point Z, and uh, we're gonna figure it out together. I'm gonna to break down every single step, and then you can download the project file, and you can try it out yourself at home and achieve what is going to sound like uh, an endless delay in a huge, huge studio. So let's hop into it. All the things, even if you're not using FL12, if you're Logic Pro Tools, um, a big part of getting this uh, delay to work is automation. So you can watch and see everything that I'm going to do and how I achieve that sound. And at the end of this 10 minutes, if you're in Pro Tools, Logic, whatever you're in, if you just go and you YouTube automation, you're going to be able to, as long as you know what automation is and what it can do for you, uh, go to whatever uh, YouTube you can find about automation in your DAW. You're going to be able to apply all this to your vocals if you like to use a different program. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to grab a beat. So obviously I'm going to plug myself here, mybestfriendjacob.com. Uh, I have a pretty cool, oh, grab some free beats if you want. That pop-up was from free beats. Um, yeah, I had, did this Sandra, I called it, a beat. I think it's a pretty dope Travis Scott one. So I'm going to download it, which you can do. You go to my website, you can grab this exact same beat. I'm going to download it and then uh, bring it back into FL Studio. The first thing you want to do with these delays, uh, just because you want them to be kind of mapped out and on uh, time, is you want to find this BPM of the beat and you want to match your project file in whatever program you're in uh, to the BPM of the beat. So the BPM for Sandra, I know, is 128 because on my website, I actually list the BPMs. A bunch of other producers do this as well on BeatStars. So uh, you can probably find out the BPM by just going to the website or wherever you got the beat. It's 128 BPM. So we're just going to bring this down to 128. I'm gonna hit no because I don't wanna stretch that. So now we are totally on track if we hit the tempo. The first thing that you wanna do is obviously you wanna start laying down some vocals. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna to pretend as if we just laid some vocals down. I just grabbed some vocal shots off of uh, Splice. I figured that they would do justice for this. We can just take a listen to what those sound like clean. Bowling. We got Houston in the house. The first thing that you want to do is you want to actually put these on a channel so that you can actually do this effect. So if you just double click any of these files, I'm going to double click on the, the first vocal shot. You can either move it to the track that you want to move it to so we could put it to 10 or if you uh, want to know the quick command, it's just control plus L and it'll automatically put on whatever free track is. So obviously track one was free because we haven't done anything. Now these vocal shots are, are pretty much already uh, good to go. Somebody else did all the, the fixing as far as the compression and everything. I would suggest, though, that, uh, you know, we can take a quick listen. We got Houston in the house! So there's a little bit of low end, nothing too crazy. Uh, a lot of people, when they record at home, you're going to get the low end rumbles and stuff like that. Um, and honestly, it's kind of like the current sound of hip hop is to kind of roll all this off. You hear it a lot with like Party Next Door and, and individuals like they're boosting a lot of this high end here and they're, they're taking a lot of the low end. And, uh, you know, I would say Travis would do that as well. The other things you want to remember about vocals is on average, most people end up around 1K. Um, I know for me, I'm a little bit uh, higher in my range um, and you'll you'll learn. So if we just take a listen to this again, we got Houston in you can see we got Houston in the house. it's pretty bright in color we got Houston in the house. right in here. And that's that's where most vocals align. So if you were to record a vocal and you wanted to kind of brighten it a little bit, you want to make it st sound a bit clearer, you can always move. I'm going to be a bit dramatic here and really move it up. We got Houston in the house. The first thing that we want to do is we want to start adding some delays. So I'm going to use all stock plugins today. And there's actually quite a few within FL and some that you probably don't even know exist. So um, the first one that I'm going to use is just the normal FL delay. So because we picked the tempo, um, if you just click, we got you, we got you, we're going to be on beat. Um, what's really cool about what Travis, uh, I would say, is kind of 
um, created when it comes to the delays is that they tend to go on forever and then they kind of cut on and uh, off. Um, there's no real uh, method to the madness, I'd say. They're kind of just experimental. And I would say every delay is uh, extremely different. So um, this is where automation comes into play. So if you don't know what automation, I'll just break it down really quick. All you're doing is automating the movement of any of these buttons. You can do this in any program. Like I said, just uh, after, you know, this is applicable to FL Studio, but I think it's also applicable to any DAW. You just need to know how to get to automation. I know in FL Studio, if I right click on any button within FL Studio, I can create an automation clip. And basically all that is allowing me to do is the same way I can drag this with my mouse, I'm just gonna draw it in with an automation clip and that's gonna do it itself so that I don't actually, in the old days, you would have actually had to stand on a board and bring up the delay, bring up the reverbs. In uh, today's modern age, we're just gonna right click and we're gonna create an automation clip and then we're gonna draw it in. So what, where we wanna draw in this automation is with the feedback. So the feedback level is the level that the delay is feeding back with. So with the Travis Scott stuff, if we wanna get that effect, we wanna send a lot of feedback um, we want to we want to have a lot of feedback going on. So what we can do is we can just move this up for now, just to kind of hear what it sounds like. So let's take a listen. So it sounds like it's going to go on forever, and it will. I'm just going to stop it right now. Basically, what we want to do is we want to bring it up and go back down. So to do that, really simple. I'm just going to right click, create automation clip. And if I go to my timeline here, just unmute it. That's a mute button. If I unmute it, I can now uh, manipulate the, the levels. And I'll actually show you. Um, well, I'll just quickly draw this one in. So you're actually going to see this change if I go like this and I hit play. See how it's drawing it down? So that's not the effect we want. We actually want it to get higher. And right when the beat cuts in, we want it to cut off. So we do something like this. So we want to do something like that. And now that we've opened this can of worms, which is automation, we can get this to a lot of things. So um, let's just say we wanted to, uh, the cutoff which we use, which was kind of dampening the sound, same sort of thing. Right click and we can create the automation. Just gonna bring this up so it's right underneath it. Unmute it. That's again, that's the mute button. And again, let's just say we wanted it to start really clean at the top here, but we wanted it to get really, really muffly as it kind of goes right before the beat comes in. All right, so now that we've uh, kind of figured out what automation is, we literally can go in and uh, manipulate a bunch of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm not going to dive into what all of these other uh, knobs will do, but they're going to create different sounds. So I would definitely suggest that you go through, you try stereo and mono and ping pong and just fool around until you get a sound that you really like. Another thing as well, too, is like uh, it's getting pretty loud here. If it is, well, we put it on channel one. So all we have to do is just turn down channel one a bit. Another thing that you can do as well too, a lot with the Travis Scott um, delays is that they also have a lot of reverb on. And so we can put some reverb on here to make it really sound airy. So again, Fruity Reverb 2. And as I showed you before, all this is auto, you can, you can automate all this. So right now we can make it really big. Um, we can make it really wet. Take off some of the, uh, boost some of the highs, take off some of the lows. Let's just take a listen to see what it sounds like. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, if you wanted that reverb to be really loud in the beginning, but you know, once the beat cuts in, you don't want it to kind of tail off. You could again, right click, create automation. It's right now. I'm going to move this up. So it says right on it reverb. So right now it's up at a hundred percent. I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to drop it right off. So now take a listen. Wow, 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 wow. So there you go. It's uh, There's so many different ways you can do this. Another thing that I would always suggest is fool around with uh, where you have your settings. So 
reverb after delay means the delay is being affected by the reverb. Well, if you just drag this down and the delay's now um, after the reverb, that means the reverb's being affected by the delay. So this is where you can get into a place where like just even moving these two back and forth can really change the sound. And that's where Travis is getting a lot of these really unique um, settings. Another great thing about what he does is he doesn't kind of rely on the exact same reverb. So if you wanted, you know, we can have our other, we can start moving some of these other clips in, which I'll do, and we'll be back in just one sec. So the cool thing about setting up these automations is you can go in and you can start drawing in, and how I'm drawing them in is I'm just doing a right click, it'll create a little uh, button here, and then you can kind of just move it around wherever you want. But uh, basically what I did here is if I wanted the feedback to happen here, so the delay feedback to happen here, and I wanted this to just be affected by the reverb, and I just wanted that not to be affected by the reverb. I just draw them in where I need them. Um, so I'm just gonna right click to create a button. I'm just gonna turn up the cutoff. So it says feedback cutoff, that's feedback level, and that's wet dry of the reverb. So I'm just gonna fool around with the, the cutoff here. Maybe I'll do something like this. Again, there's no science to this, like just fool around. And let's just take a listen at uh, how these are all going to channel one which is these two, these three effects, the, the, the EQ, the delay, and the reverb, but they're all sounding totally different without you really doing much. You're just drawing in a couple buttons. So take a listen. Cool, so they all did something totally different, uh, but they're all still using the same effect. And this is where Travis will get some really weird, like one delay will sound super, super crazy, and another will sound super crazy. Another thing he likes to do a lot is, um, because we're going in here, right now it's going right down the middle, but if we wanted to, we could have it go just to the right or just to the left of your headphones, and that's something that Travis will do as well too. Again, right click, create automation. So now when this guy, I'm gonna unmute this here, uh, when this guy says Houston's in the house, we're going to go from the middle, which is 50%, and we're going to go all the way to one side of the headphones. I'm not even sure which side this is, but we'll find out in a second. So let's just take a listen. So that's how you can make it go all the way to just the right side of your headphones. So there's a bunch of different options there. You can get super, super deep into it. Um, another thing that I will show you, I'm just going to make a brand new track here. Fool around with an FL. Uh, there's a lot of cool delays from the old. Um, there's a lot of cool delays from the old uh, FL studios, and one of them is I'm gonna have to remember what it's called here. All right, found it. It's called Fruity Delay Bank. Um, so this is like an older delay plugin before two or three of Fruity Delay happened. So um, Fruity Delay Bank. Let's click that open. As you can see, it looks a bit archaic. There's a bunch of cool, if you just click this little drop down and hit presets, there's a bunch of cool presets in here. So let's just see, I don't know, let's see what uh, Funky Tin Roof sounds like. So I'm just gonna take these exact same ones where they were on channel one, we're gonna move them to channel two, that's where our new effects are. And uh, let's just take a listen to what channel two sounds like. I'll just mute these just so they don't uh, get in the way. We got Houston in the house! Cool, so that's like a cool delay. Again, all these things are, you can automate all these things. So you can automate the panning, how much feedback is happening. We can, we got Houston in the house. We got Houston in the house. you know, all these little we got Houston in the house. changes are going to, let's do this. We got Houston in the house. So let's uh, keep going. If you just click this button, you can kind of keep going through presets. We got Houston in the house. That's cool. Let's turn up the volume so you get even more of that feedback. We got Houston. See how, you can, see how you can change the panning and stuff? I'm just going to turn that down. Hit stop. See, it's going to keep going forever. So that's another cool delay uh, that we could be using. And again, if you just right click, create automation, you do the same thing that we did before. Uh, I'm going to go into channel three here. And the last one I'll show you today is actually a free plugin. I will leave the um, website below. It's called Taldub. It's gonna open it up. Sorry, I have a 4K screen, so it's super small. Um, this one is really cool because it's like a dub delay and it honestly just does go forever. So let's move this vocal shot into three and just hear what it sounds like here. We got you in the house. It 
See how cool that is? And look, same sort of thing. You can automate that to go up and down. And this is a free plugin. You can do this with reverbs. You could do this with, uh, you know, distortion. So this is how you're getting a song to uh, have a bunch of different, uh, really unique and uh, kind of trippy delays going on. I'm going to hop in and I'm going to make a bunch of automations here. And uh, what you guys can do is you can download this project file um, and you can also grab the beat. It's going to be a tag beat. Maybe I'll just leave it in there. So you can grab the project file with the tag beat if you want to rap on it. Um, and then you can basically replace uh, the vocal shots that I have here. So if you have a, if you record voice uh, to one of these tracks, uh, you can go in and you can put it on one two or three i'll kind of label it all so i'm going to hop in and we'll see what it sounds like in a second all right so when you download this flp you'll see all of the feedback and everything the way that i've kind of labeled it just so you don't get confused is this is vocal one this is vocal two effects and this is vocal three so if you put a vocal here make sure that it's on one if you put your vocal in here make sure it's on vocal two if you put your vocal in here make sure it's going to vocal three and then you can, uh, as you put more vocals and stuff here, you can be manipulating them more and more. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll take a little listen here and we'll just kind of see some of the weird stuff that I have going on. Like I said, I, I, I truly don't believe that there is any, uh, essential method to the madness um, when it comes to these delays. I think they're trying to get some distortion and some feedback and they pan them left and right. So fool around, be as experimental as you want, have them come in, come back out, move to the left, move to the right, um, and just see what kind of you know effects you can create. I would also suggest that you, rather than put them on your, your, your main uh, vocals, I would say use these as kind of like the ad libs, the same way he might be like straight up, 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 and it just kind of keeps going. I would say do that same sort of uh, technique and, uh, and, and figure out what kind of works for you. So we'll take a quick listen, um, and uh, then I'll be right back. All right, so there is a bunch of stuff happening there. So take a listen, fool around with it. Um, obviously, some of these you might want to actually just cut out the beat, uh, especially like right here where it kind of just, let me just see what it goes like. If you did something like this, then have the, and then maybe, oh, that's really loud. Uh, maybe have it, you know, cut right back off when the beat comes in, wherever that is. Take a listen. Uh, you know, you can fool around and find the sound that you really want, you desire, and uh, that's how you would do like a Travis Scott feedback delay. Hey, if you stuck around this far, why not grab some free beats? Hit the link in the description below and I'll send you five of my best selling beats directly to your email for free. Plus, if you join that mailing list, I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of information that'll be helpful in your career because that's what best friends are for.